In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what happens or what you need to pay attention to once you've installed either XAMPP or MAMP. As a reminder, up on the Blackboard site, you will have the installation instructions for both XAMPP and MAMP, whichever you'd like to use. You only need to install one. Both of them do the same thing, just as far as accessing information is a little bit different. I'm going to combine the lecture here for both MAMP and XAMPP into a single video, and then when I talk about the WordPress installations, I will separate out the videos. So when you went and did your installations, one of the big things you had to remember was letting MAMP and XAMPP install outside of program files or users. It needs to have that ability that it can run without having any form of user modifications on it. Now, on this back end here, one thing you want to pay attention to is I'll use the MAMP folder as the first example, and then I'll show you in the XAMPP. In both folders, when you double click to actually go in to see what was installed, both folders have what is called an htdocs folder. The htdocs folder is the way and the location you are going to want to install your content management systems. This is the location. It's almost, think of it like the live web folder. So you can see here, you have one in MAMP, but likewise too, if I double click on XAMPP, folder structure is a little bit different, but just like its counterpart, there's that htdocs folder again. Now, that's really for the scope of this class, worry only about the htdocs for right now. However, if we go back in now and let's go ahead and open up a control panel, why don't we start with XAMPP? When you're working inside of XAMPP and MAMP, the two primary items that you're going to be working with are the modules for Apache and MySQL. In XAMPP, what you will want to do is whenever you open, you are going to want to perform the action start for each of these. What you want to see happen here is you want to see that both of the module names have turned green and this means that they are live and they're actually running right now. This means that if you needed to, you could come in under both admin and config and work within these. Just to show you some examples here, like if I click on admin, I'd like to draw your attention here. It opened up a web browser for me and it opened the localhost dashboard. Gives you a little bit of background as far as XAMPP is concerned. Let me go ahead and hop back though. Let me show you the other for the MySQL. You click on admin here. It's going to open and it might take a second, but what you want to see is this PHP My Admin. The PHP My Admin backend is what you'd often see when you are on a live web server where you will be setting up your database to store your information for one of your content management systems. We will get into this in the next video, but I did want to draw your attention to this is how you would locate these items and actually open them using XAMPP. Finally, when you're done working, and this is pretty important, you need to make sure you don't want to just quit out. You actually want to go through the process of actually stopping the actions for each of the modules. So I'm going to go ahead. The order doesn't matter here, but you want to make sure that I'm going to hit stop and stop. Notice that the modules have gone back to gray, and then I can quit out of XAMPP. Just to show you on the flip side, let me go ahead and open up MAMP. MAMP is a little bit different, whereby right out of the gate, whenever you boot it up, I don't know if you noticed while I was talking here, next to Apache server and MySQL server, you had two little lights turn green. So here you have your stop servers whenever you're ready to shut down, but also you have the open web start page. If I click on this icon here, MAMP is going to take you to its kind of its home backend. It'll give you some examples as far as what PHP version, or if you work in other languages at some point, you know, you have Python here, etc. It's a little bit different from XAMPP though, from the standpoint that they actually have like a tools dropdown menu. And this is where you would access that PHP My Admin element. So if I click on that, 
it's going to open. And as you can see, you're right back to the same page, except you're accessing it via the, in my case, I'm accessing it via the MAMP install. So that's kind of the back end for each of those. Those are going to be your core starting points whenever you first start working with these files here. So again, you want to pick between XAMP or MAMP. Either one will work fine. And I'll actually go ahead here and stop servers. Let MAMP power down here for me. But then from there, once you've selected MAMP or XAMP, install it, and then remember, when we are gearing up to do our WordPress or our content management system installs here, what you're going to want to make sure is that whenever you go in and you start to work inside these, you want to pay attention specifically to the htdocs folder in each. That is where we're going to be extracting and setting up our installs for WordPress and the other content management systems.